you writing that in any different way around when you get to your last step. So we'll substitute this all in now. We have pi. Your radius is 4. Slant is root 116 plus pi times your radius 4 all squared. Let's check it into our calculator and see how we do. We have pi. Okay, don't use 3.14. Please use exactly pi. Again, if you use um, pi or s3.14, you may uh, make a rounding error because, of course, pi is not equal to exactly 3.14. Okay, and so since they were uh, asking, we get 185.609 for us to round to the nearest uh, square meter. Uh, I would like you guys to write it as 186 meters squared. So make sure you always look at the question. It's a common mistake. Students will lose a cheap half mark that way for just not paying attention. So be careful. <clears throat> All right. Um, now I wanted us to try another uh, another one with the pyramids. The cones ones uh, aren't too tough. Um, here we go. Model of the Great Pyramid of Giza is constructed for museum display. The surface area of the triangular faces is 3,000 square inches. The side length of the base is 50 inches. Determine the height of the model to the nearest tenth of an inch. All right. So why I like this one is because you're going to have to work backwards a little bit. All right. So I'll make yourself uh, or make you guys uh, write down this little note that I think will help. First, <clears throat> let's use the surface area of a triangular face to determine the height of the triangle. Because if we can get the height of the triangle, then we're off to the races here. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. If we take the area of a triangle, and we know that the area of triangle is one half base times height. We know that we have one half. We know that the base they tell you is 50 inches. We don't know what the height is, and you're probably wondering what I'm going to put in here for the area of the triangle. Well, it tells you that the surface area of the triangular faces is 3,000 square inches. So if we take 3,000 and divide it by four, that'll tell you what um, each triangular face is. So 3,000 divided by four is not a tough calculation. You get 750. Simplifying this, we have 750. Half of 50 is 25 times the height. Divide by 25, divide by 25. Uh, let's see, we get 28, 29, 30. Okay, so your slant length is 30. Okay, so maybe my next little, I'll do over here in red, my next little um, note that I'll do is uh, telling us that next, let's use this measure to determine the height of the pyramid, which of course is what the question is asking. So, so far, if you recall, I'll draw myself kind of like a triangle going right through this. Okay. We know that the slant is out here at 30. Right. We know that the base is 50, so therefore that's the entire base. This is where you may make a mistake. That actually is half, right, for 25. Okay. And so uh, we have one more Pythagoras. I'll do it down in here in blue. We have, um, ooh, yeah, another tricky thing. Uh, make sure you recognize that we're not looking for the hypotenuse this time, so A, or you could call B, would be right out there. So we now have A squared plus 25 squared is equal to 30 squared. A squared plus 625 is equal to 900. A squared is equal to uh, 275. And uh, this one, of course, is appropriate to put into your calculator. Uh, you would get A. A is equal to the square root of 275. So we got 16.58. And I believe they asked you to round to the nearest tenth of an inch. So we would say it is equal to 16.6 inches like so. Okay. Um, good. So that concludes uh, this lesson. Um, I think you'll, you'll find this one to be a little bit more daunting. It'll push you a little bit, which is good for you honors guys. Um, what else can I kind of summarize by saying? 
uh, as you work through these formulas, um, try to try to think a little bit more. A lot of students I find kind of fall in love with these formulas and they just want to go and look for them all the time. Try and think about what you're given, um, what you need to find, and then develop an equation kind of on your own like we did for uh, some of the tougher questions here.